Right, you guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the powerful CADAS VIM 4. It's an 8-core ARM single ball computer. We're going to be taking a quick look at it in today's video, but if you want to see more videos on this, then let me know in the comment section what you want me to see test with this little uh, single ball computer. It is a pretty powerful little bit of kit, and that's what we're going to be taking a look at. So in here, you've got a little user manual here. just gives you all the information about what is on the actual uh, board itself. And we have some Wi-Fi antennas in here, which you can attach to the device itself. And again, if you check out their website, you can buy cases and other types of attachments for this little mini PC. So that's what we're going to be taking a look at in this video. We're going to run some uh, standard little tests. And then if you want to see some more stuff on this, then let me know in the comments section. So this is what you can expect to get inside the kit here. And uh, we have the actual uh, computer itself. Now, I did say computer because that's exactly what this is. It's a single ball computer. And uh, we do have a fan and heat sink on here already attached. They do a version without this where you can just buy the single ball computer itself. But this one has all the gubbins on it already. So you can just plug in and play. All you need, if you wanted to, is buy a case, which you can purchase from their website or on Amazon, on their Amazon store. So there's plenty of them around. So check those out. I'll leave some information in the video description. So on this side of the board, we do have uh, some ports. We have a USB 2.0 port. Next to that, we have a USB uh, C port, which is your 2.0 port on here. And then next to that one, we have our HDMI output. And we also have uh, the gigabit Ethernet LAN port and a USB 3.0 port on here as well. So pretty decent uh, specs on that side here. So let me just quickly flip it over here. We do have an M.2 slot on here, which supports PCIe uh, times two on there and a TF uh, slot there, which is your micro SD card uh, slot on here as well. And there's some other bits on the back, which is your V by one, your MIPI, DSI and TP EDP and also MIPI CSI. There's two of those on there as well. You've got three buttons on here, your reset, your function and your power button on here and your RTC header on there as well. And around the other side, it does have an HDMI input type D connector on there as well and a 40 pin layout as well. But before we continue, let's have a word from today's sponsor. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro or cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then go to CD key sales, type in uh, Windows 10 or Windows 11 and it will give you the option to click on uh, which one you want. Click on this one. And then you can uh, see we'll bit the buy now page, hit the buy now button. And as long as your region is listed up above, you should be OK. Put in my promo code capital B capital R 09 and apply this to your order to get a juicy discount. Once you click apply, it will be reduced down to $16.41. Submit your order and then use PayPal to pay for your key. Then head over to Windows Activation Center and paste in your key and then activate your version of Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro. Links will be found in the video description. So let's take a quick overall look at the specs here. The Amlogic A311D2 8 core uh, chip on here, which is a quad core ARMS Cortex A73 at 2.2 gigahertz, and also the quad core Mali G52 MP8. As 8 gigabytes of RAM, the M.2 slot we talked about, and Wi Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.1 on here. Now, the HDMI output is a HDMI uh, 2.1 and it goes up to 4K. And you can pause the screen and read some of the other specs. So, for the kit you see me unboxing here, it's going to cost you £190.99. It's pretty pricey and it doesn't have any sort of adapters for power or anything like that. You have to buy all that stuff yourself and the case and all the other bits and pieces. So, check out their website for some of the other attachments you can buy. So the website gives you plenty of information about this unit itself. I'll leave the link in the video description so you can read all the information about what this actual uh, single board computer can actually do. It's a pretty powerful little mini PC and it does give you all the information about the interfaces and what is actually on the actual board itself. So you can read that at your own leisure. It does have all the usual stuff which you would get with normally a Pi and things like that. So you can check that out. The full specifications is right down the bottom of the page here. And this gives you way more information than what I've given you in this video. Also, you can boot up to the device itself. And this is going to be the first thing you're going to see. You can see we're already in beta and uh, you can choose one of the operating systems, whether it be Android 64 bit, 32 bit, or you've got Ubuntu on there or Ubuntu server depending on which one you want to boot to. But I'm just going to go with the Android 11 64-bit uh, version, and we'll boot up to this 
and see what it's like. So it's going to download this. So you're going to need a connection on here. It does have Wi-Fi 6 and also that one gigabit Ethernet LAN port. So all this is going to do is click OK and it will go off and download this and then it will install it for us without having to create bootable USB flash drives and all that sort of stuff. So let's go ahead and I'll speed this process up and this will then download it from the server and it gives you the link there where you can download the image as well. And then once that's done, you can click on install and it will go ahead and install this on here for you. Once that's done, you get the UWAL uh, type of message and it boots up to Android for the very first time. Once we get booted up, you can see here, you've just got a normal Android 11 uh, operating system here and you can sideload all your little apps on here and do all that sort of good stuff. There is some apps already pre-installed on here, which I'll show you. But again, if you want to uh, sideload all some other stuff, you can do. You can use Miracast and all that sort of stuff. Let me know if you want to see some of these videos. But I'm going to just quickly go into some gameplay here using the PPSSPP emulator. And we're going to be setting this up for Vulkan. And we're going to be having it on times two set in here as well for the upscale. So you can try other uh, scalings if you want to. But I'm going to leave these settings, as you can see on here, uh, pretty much as they are. But just uh, put the frames per second on so you can see the actual frame rates that we're getting with this little uh, single uh, board computer here. So let's get this started. So I've got the FPS set up here. And I'm just going to go up here and show you some of the other settings that we got on here. Now remember, this is a tiny little single ball computer here. So I'm going to leave these settings as is. We're going to have the uh, rendering resolution to times two. You may be able to push this a little bit more on some games, and we're having it set to Vulcan on the back end here. And what we'll do is we'll play, uh, you know, three or four games, and you can see roughly what the FPS is for this little mini PC. Now remember, this is only a tiny little uh, computer, so it's not a massive uh, computer, but it just goes to show you how far advances have come for these uh, single board computers here. So let's try some of these ones here, and you can then see uh, what we're going to achieve with this little uh, system here. I'm pretty impressed with it so far. It's super snappy and super fast, and I'm just looking forward to doing some other testing with this little device in future videos. So let me know what you want to see. So first off, let's go with uh, Grand Theft Auto here, Vice City, and we'll take a look at this one here. So I'll get this started up, and uh, here we go. And we're getting uh, 30 FPS here on this one, uh, which isn't too bad for this particular type of game. Now, it may go up and down. You, you can see on the top right-hand side here of the screen. But I'm just going to do a quick drive around here so you can see uh, what the FPS is, and we're getting a 30 FPS for this particular type of game. Super smooth. And the picture quality looks absolutely great for this little mini PC. Again, this is Gods of War. We're getting 60 uh, FPS here. You're going to get the odd frame drop when things happen on here, but it goes back to 60 pretty quickly here. And again, I'm pretty impressed at the 60 FPS we're getting with this uh, single board computer here. It's really decent. It really is. And uh, the picture looks great. There's no jerkiness at all. And uh, it's just really playing well. And for a little tiny... A device like this it just goes to show you the advancements in technology uh, over the years compared to what it used to be like uh, many years ago we're moving forward so fast it's just mind-blowing and again you can play around with these settings you might want to try some different settings on the device and let me know if you want to see some other videos with this but it's not skipping a beat it really is decent and for this little single board computer it just goes to show you how how advancements have come for these little devices and again you can tweak this up as well with uh, some attachments they do some attachments on their website and you can check that out i'll leave the link in the video description but that is the cados vim 4 if you've got any suggestions let me know in the comment section below and i'll try and string a few of those uh, tests in another video so you can see them maybe a 4k test and some other tests that you might want to see and i'll try and make another video out of it if there's enough options available to make another video now remember this also runs linux as well so if you fancy a bit of linux you can put linux on here and have yourself a little linux desktop system so that will be a cool little uh, uh device for linux users anyway my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members who join my youtube members group 
I really do appreciate the support. And also a special shout out to Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, PC Repair Tech, Albert Houston, Marciera, Jedi Buddhist, Geo Sam, Phil's Computer Repair and Welsh Tony One. Have a lovely weekend and I shall catch you in another video real soon. Bye for now. Thank you.